Okay guys, welcome back, MSA545 here, and we are playing Thumbcraft once again. And we're going to get straight into the main points this episode, so that we can get through it quite fast and well. It's a new day, so let's get started. Okay, so as you've seen, I have uh, mined out this room. Uh, from last episode, I kind of started to do it, but I've mined it out and neatened it up and stuff. And if you didn't catch the gist from last episode, this is going to be where my farm is. Which is fun. Because I like farms. And uh, I haven't made a farm yet. But it's going to be Thommy the farm. And, uh, well, what I need to do is I need to make a pumpkin thing to start off with. Uh, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go and get it all ready and sorted out. Uh, what? 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 Look what I found. Oh, I've been searching for one of these for ages off camera. Finally found it. If you don't know what this is, this is actually an, an altar, and what you need to do is, I need to uh, rebuild this last thing, and pretty much uh, when you build it, it completes the system and charges it. Uh, like a completes like the system of four, and it makes them all weird, and they all sort of interlink with each other, like you saw I did in there. And if you put a thing called a talisman in the middle, which I will probably, since I can now, show you in this episode. Uh, it charges it and you can make loads of cool things like boots and stuff. I'm going to uh, get the thing up. Uh, so, that is where you need to go if you want to find it. Uh, but, I'm just going to quickly do what I need to do at, ho at uh, home, <laughs> at base. And then, I think we might play around with this a bit. So, pause the video here if you need the thing, and we will get back. Right, so we have uh, made it back to the house, and, um, uh, well, you may have noticed, or you may have not noticed, that this is Minecraft 1.1. So, uh, yeah, Thumbcraft has finally updated. I sort of was a bit in confusion last episode because it had updated but when I recorded the episode it didn't update. Like it wasn't updated so it was kind of weird and like sort of weird stuff happened. Um, but yeah. Uh, so if you uh, did not know, uh, you probably didn't know because I didn't give you any hint towards this but I have updated it to uh, Minecraft 1.0 or no, 1.1 <laughs> I mean, and uh, Thomcraft I've updated it with it to uh, 1.2.3, which is no different to 1.2, but it's just, there's a couple of bug fixes and mainly it's updated to uh, 1.0, or 1.1, I keep on saying 1.0, uh, but we're just going to make this farm right now, um, um, if you didn't know, farming has uh, changed quite a bit in one Minecraft 1.10. Whereas I can walk over this and it won't change, but if I jump on it, it will instantly destroy that. So just as long as you don't jump, you should be fine. And uh, if you're wondering how the soil is hydrating, I've just got water blocks there. I will be replacing these at some point with uh, the symbol which to uh, which uh, tills dirt for you. I can't remember what it is right now, but um, I will soon. Although I'm not really sure. Is there really any point? You know, water's so simple. I don't know. I never really saw, saw much point in that one because I thought water was quite a simple thing. Uh, do I have any bone meal? I can make bone meal. Uh, oh, we got. Oh, what? Oh, I double clicked it. Mm. Now we have to wait for pumpkins to grow out of these, which is always very fun and slow. So uh, I will uh, get back to you when that happens. Okay, see ya. Okay, 
So, uh, three of the pumpkins have grown already, four, so I'm happy with that. And, uh, whoops. Uh, one of the uh, uh, new things with 1.1, which I didn't quite realise until about three minutes ago, was that pumpkins now grow on only uh, dirt blocks, not tilled soil dirt blocks, but on actual dirt blocks. So, I didn't realise that. I'm still not too fresh in the 1.1 ideas. I just know about the farmland stuff, and there's some other minor things I know about ladders with no hitboxes and things like that, which are actually quite annoying. Um, let's get on to something else. Okay, so let's get on to the next thing we're doing this episode, which is kind of why I need the snow. Um, and uh, pretty much our uh, lag. Uh, what it is, is kind of an automated snow machine, or snow machine, uh, thumb making machine, and it involves snow. So, uh, I get rid of this. I still be will using. I still will be using that. But what I need to do is carve a kind of big room behind this. So I'll be back when I do that. Good, good, good. So uh, what do I, what I need to do now? Oh yeah, um, the sort of piping had to be slightly readjusted, but it's fine. What I need to do now is build a, a sort of a repeater thingy and everything. I will just build everything, and you can just watch this. Okay, so. Enjoy. Okay guys, so I have uh, sort of finished this off of camera. Uh, you did see me create sort of basic bits of it, but it got really annoying and complicated after that. So I kind of just decided to cut it so I wouldn't have to bore you guys and uh, what would like. Uh, I wouldn't have to bore you guys and sort of you just watching me uh, dig pretty much through the roof to this room because. Uh, what I have done is I have actually uh, connected these pipes through the roof and through here and into these pipes. So now not also does my pretty much unlimited thumb system uh, fill these, but also fills those, which is pretty cool I think. And I've uh, got a little system here. You flip it up and it turns it the it on. If you're wondering why I built it so far back, it's so you can't hear piston noise, because the piston is extremely loud. If and um, it like needs to be up to 16 blocks away, and able or in order not to hear it, so it's kind of annoying. But as you can see, snowballs come and pretty much fill your system. Although I'm gonna turn it off because if you leave it on, it gets extremely laggy because it's just th so many entities of snowballs it just it gets really laggy uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to continue the farm I have extended the thing a bit I find kind of a kind of a almost a cheat almost which is kind of weird like if you jump on this like I got I got three from that and I got two from that so it's kind of like I don't know it's almost like a cheat so I've just been sort of filling this up. Oh, I've got a whole row filled. Why? Um, what I'm thinking of doing? Well, no, um, I'm not sure about pumpkins, but what I'm thinking is if I ever get melons, uh, which I'm hopefully going to do sometime, because we're going to place it with some underground stuff next episode. Hint, hint. Uh, yeah, but uh, hopefully at some point I'll find melons. And what we're going to do is we are going to. Uh, Create has if anyone watches Ethos Lab, he is to sort of see how I said if anyone watches Ethos Lab, yet everyone watches Ethos Lab. Uh, but like he's got this sort of melon farm where he just walks in, he picks up about a bunch of melons and then walks out again. And it's a really simple uh, process and or design, and I really want to create it because it's pretty much instant food. 
watermelons are a great source of food I think and um, but I think I think that's good um, I do want to stress this was not my idea um, I think I've explained it. have I explained it I'm not sure because I created the last part like a day ago um, but uh, I'll just quickly explain it pretty much what happens is there's a piston which pushes a snow block which pu or which pushes the snowman which pushes the snow block he produces turns it into snow the snow turn falls into the water the snowman produces more blocks the pistons on a rapid thing and a um, million snowballs get produced they fall through the water uh, they and they hit this there's no real need for that iron symbol there it's just it's nice to have because uh, it kind of speeds the process up at the like at the end which makes it look so much cooler. It's more for the aesthetics. You could use a sign. Uh, but let's continue making the farm. Yeah. Okay, so I've been uh, doing some improvements on the farm. I, I haven't ch uh, changed loads to be fair, but I've changed enough, I think, uh, to do an update. Uh, where I have added... Uh, sugarcane to the side and uh, I've moved the pumpkins over here I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this middle bit because I can't have pumpkins in the middle or I don't know I might I might put pumpkins in the middle somehow uh, but apart from that nothing much has happened and uh, I don't really think I can work on the farm much more for this episode because Oh, don't tell me it's that weird glitch thing. Yeah, it is. Oh, I hate that glitch thing. Oh, well. I can't work on farms that much for this episode because that's kind of all the farming resources I have. I could use, I don't know, animals and stuff, like an animal farm, but eh, I don't know. It seems a bit of a hassle. Okay, so you, know, you guys know the way I'm like a genius and stuff, right? Yeah, I know. Well, I have invented an awesome concept to this thing, which makes it fully automatic. Which I think is pretty epic. Why are they so light? I don't know. Uh, but, if I destroy that, and then I place it again, as you can see, when that goes down, it starts to fill itself up with snowballs again. As you'll see in a second, once the snowballs come, the one disadvantage is it takes a while for the snowballs to get down the stream. But uh, here they are. Also, I've I've sort of uh, slowed the snowballs down a bit because they cause so much lag, and there's just like unnecessary lag sometimes. So uh, I kind of slowed it down a bit. But as you can see now that it's full, it will slow itself up, and once this gets to 90% full, it will activate a redstone switch, which will uh, jam the circuit. Or the you know the the clock, which I think is pretty cool. So you know it's pretty much fully automatic. So anytime I like say go in there, it will use a bit of thumb or V's, and then it will pretty much bring it back. So I think that's pretty cool. Do you not? Okay, let's see how many crystals we have now. That's almost two stacks. Ha! <laughs> I sound weird there. But no, seriously, well, I have been doing a lot of stuff, guess, off camera, and must have just kept going. Wow. I normally come back and there's maybe about half a stack or something, but seriously, wow. That's awesome. Anyways, uh, so we're uh, if you, if you remembered from my last episode, we were messing around a bit with or not last episode uh, from the start of the episode. I was off exploring to get the snow and pumpkins from what we needed, um, and like for the snowman, and I came across one of those. Where's my thumb? No, there it is. Uh, I came across one of those big. Uh, things. I think that's probably the best way of describing it. I've got a load to this now. Um, uh, what are the, the altars. I came across an altar. 
and uh, pretty much what they can do is they can charge these things called talismans, which I'm going to create oh, a ten of now. If I have enough, I don't do I? Oh no, if I do that though, that's wasting like all my orcalium. I don't want to do that. I have, I don't have loads of orcalium. Um, or thom thomium. I'm still not used to the names of this. I keep on calling these thom. If you probably have noticed about a billion times, and I've. Uh, I continue to say things. Um, let's just make three. Okay, so we've made some uh, talisman wars. So uh, I'm just going to go back to the altar. I'm going to set up a base around it and make it look nice and pretty and then give you an update on where we're going with it. Okay, so I've got a miniature base set up here. Um, I have got a thumb thing to get this working, although you don't really need it because of this, or, well, these poles should charge it. But um, I, I have it there just for sort of safekeeping in case it doesn't. And I don't know, I might set up another infinite snow machine in maybe like every single place I have one of these because they're quite handy. Um, but what we need to do in order to get this working is we need to complete this last pole. And if I head through here, this is my new one I'm using this for. Um, anyway, so if you go here, and yes I do have some logs, and you need a portal hole. Although, you need to turn... Uh, yeah, you need to turn... Whoa, I missed that completely. Sorry, I was looking at my notes things, I have a big thing of notes, you need to turn your logs into timber and you need your tinkering tools to do that, dough, that's what Homer says, yay, uh, where's my tinkering tools, there's my tinkering tools, I haven't used my tinkering tools that much, okay, and we're back, uh, let's see, So as you can see, now that I'm using it, it's filling itself up again. I love that. I'm sorry. Um, actually, I'm thinking I might. Uh, here, do you, uh, tell me in the comments. Do you want me guys, or do you want me to sort of do a tutorial on how to make this? It's not actually too hard and stuff. And I know loads of you will probably can just guess by looking at it how to create it. And I sort of quick thing at the back. Although, um, I think it would be cool if you guys, you know, sort of knew entirely how to do it. I can make this now. Okay, um, so what you want to do is you want to get a portable hole and you want to combine it with the uh, timber log. Sometimes it matters what way you do it. Yeah, there. I don't know why. It just does sometimes matter. And uh, one thing is, it does get replaced quite slowly. Um, that's why I still use the big storage method. Uh, but you know, I don't. You don't want it to over reload this system. Also, the cool thing is, it it um, it says that you've got past it at. Oh, cool! I made three of them. I didn't realize. I thought I would have used the portal hole. I'm just gonna leave the portal hole in there. Um, but yeah, you would have like um, it takes up to ninety percent of it being filled until it sort of sends out the, the redstone signal. So it gives it that extra ten percent just for the ones that are falling right now, which is kind of cool. So it is about a hundred percent, which I think is very cool because you know the time delay of the snowballs reaching the thing, and once the signal is sent, you can't really stop those. So uh, what I need to do is I need to find one more of these obelisks which I can use at free will. Um, you know, I can just destroy pretty much. And I know for a fact that there is one out here, so I'll get back to you when I find it. Ah, there it is. I don't know why, but this one looks smaller than the other ones. So I didn't really show you what these this tool does. Did, 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 did I? Uh, did I? <laughs> what it does is you can move any obstacle, even bedrock, with this tool. You pick it up and then you can place it again somewhere else. And that's pretty much the tool. Unfortunately, you can only 
move one at a time so this might be quite a long process so I'll meet you back in the thing okay so I'm back and I have the first piece if you look at the sort of top left hand corner of the screen you can see it there and what I need to do is I need to place it down and for people who were wondering why I didn't just use one of my other two for the other piece and um, even if I choose like another one and place it it'll just get that one again so you can only ever teleport one item at a time and um, I need to go and get the second piece because if you don't put them back in in order uh, the up piece will just blow up so you know we need to get the other piece now so I get back to you when I do okay and let's get the final piece what am I doing that for I need that there we go and uh, just because I can I'll show you what, I can, what happens if you blow it up or if you take it off not in order yeah that's what I meant by it blows up <laughs> so uh, let's uh, get back actually um, before we do that I have uh, I, I just want to say uh, I want to give a shout out to CJ Art he's a uh, He's sort of, a, I think he's a fan of mine, and he's asked me to give a shout out to him because he has, uh, like me, j recently started off a new Minecraft series on YouTube. And I just want to tell you guys that, well, I think he's actually really good. I um, sat down and watched a couple of his videos, and you know, I just like watched them for just enjoyment, not because he asked me to. Like originally, it was because he asked me to, but you know, you know. Uh, like after a while I just did it for enjoyment because they're actually really good and I mean he's going off to such a better start than I am so I just wanted you guys to go give him a, sh or like a look at his page his link to his channel will be in the description and um, enjoy his videos now back to my video so what we need to do is get this secondary one finished so we'll put that there put that there and I need locks we go and there and there we go it is complete and uh, now this is kind of the boring part of the thing after a while these obelisks here start to charge this altar and um, you'll see sort of sparkles coming from the altar and it can take I think a while I'm not sure exactly how long it takes but it can take up to for a, or a while and when it is charged, it can. If you insert a coin or a core, which is quite cool, you just do that, um, and it has a really cool animation. It will charge it. Although that's not going to do anything for a while, so we're going to have to wait until it gets charged up. So I'll see you back here when it does. Okay, guys, and it hasn't actually charged yet. But I was just reading through my notes to see if I was missing anything, and apparently you can actually charge the crystals themselves as well and uh, for the thing I was looking to do you need to charge the crystal so um, yes let's do that if you charge the crystal you can get this thing called uh, uh, I'm not sure what it's called I can only really see a picture of it but it's like it's like a a, a charged pistol like a, or a crystal and also at the same time you get a charged core and you can make pretty cool things from these so anyway I'll get back to you when this is charged up okay so to finish off the episode today by the way I'm not, I'm not like finishing off the episode now but I'm gonna do something quite cool and I need some of this stuff for it so let's get that, that should be enough I'm not sure what type of it it is you know I'm not sure kind of looks like that um, so I want to keep it as glimmering for now just in case I may oh well no I know I know I'll, I'll put two in and make them the other ones because I'm not sure if it's glowing or if it's um, the other one and I'll make yet again two more just in case it's the other one all together that's that uh, I can Because it, it may be either of them. Because it's really hard to tell in the picture. 
I think it's possibly the indestin, but we'll see later. And also another thing I want to say is no, you cannot duplicate these. Wait, can you duplicate? You can duplicate wait. I think that's quite cool. Um, that's pretty cool. What about chicken? Yes, you can. I'm gonna leave that on a repeating thing until all my visa is gone, because I pretty much own the visa now. Now let's see if this is charged or not yet. Yep, it's ready. So what I do is I get uh, my talisman core and I place it on here, and as you can see, it goes crazy. And then you hear the strike of lightning, and voila, you get a charged talisman core, which is pretty cool. And you can use these things for uh, like food, or not like you can't, you can't use them for food. Um, sorry if you hear. Sorry if you hear a lot of paper rustling in the background of me staring at the screen doing absolutely nothing because I'm trying to find something. Oh yeah, here they are. They can be used uh, to make things like health and uh, hunger things like reductants as long as they're in your hotbar. And in order to do that you need to infuse them. Where'd my wood go? Oh, I used up all my wood, didn't I? Right. Oh my ha, got a lot of stuff there. And it's still going. I'm just wondering, does it use up the stuff from here? Because that, that's something I don't really want. Uh, never thought of that. Awkward. <laughs> yeah, awkward. You know what, I think that's enough. I'll just... Well, I'll do that. They got rid of the chicken. Um, sure. What we do? Sorry, I was not paying attention. I need to go get some more. Uh, arc witch wood, wood, wood. I need to get more of the wood stuff. Look what I found. Um, there's some more wolves somewhere around here. Yeah, there's there's three of them. I was gonna try and hunt them down, but I found wolves, and I love wolves. So we're gonna try and get these guys to be my buddy. And also, you can only breed wolves in. This latest version of Minecraft, so that's even better. These guys are just using up a lot of bones. Oh, well, that one took like two. That's cool. So, we now have some buddies with us to help us try and find some Eckwood or root trees. I have not found one yet. Okay, cool. So this is charged once again, and we're going to charge crystal this time. Um. Anyway, I waited till night, and I think the problem was that none of them spawned because they spawned during the night. The trees, and uh, I found loads. It's been a couple of days, like Minecraft days, since I last recorded, and um, I don't know where my dogs went. Oh, they kind of got lost. And what I've made are the boots of striding, and these boots are quite cool. Uh, what they do, and what you can do with the boots is you can enchant them like any other boots, and I probably will do that later but if you put the boots on there's my guy he's awesome you have increased jump height I believe yeah and it gives you a bit of protection plus food does not go down as much so I think that's pretty cool uh, it's kinda awkward to get the jump height working there it is and your fall damage is cut in half, or pretty much you can fall from twice the height without taking fall damage, which is pretty cool. Um, there's also this kind of weird thing where you're always sprinting while you're wearing them. I find that kind of weird, um, but you know, they're they're cool, I guess. And that's pretty much all I want to do for this episode. And I still have our core left, um, so. If you want to uh, 
or if you like this episode, rate, comment, and subscribe. I uh, just remember CJ Arts thing is in the in the description below, and uh, that's not ready to charge yet. That's great. We're in my editing. Um, I'll just end here anyway though. Uh, so, uh, pretty much, go check out his channel. As I said before, he makes great videos. I think they're amazing. Um, also, go to uh, Twitter if you want to follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter page will be in the description below. And uh, pretty much rate, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And also, uh, tell me. Would you rather me uh, do stuff with the archive boar next episode, or would you rather see me do more sort of boots of striding stuff, or you know, like uh, things to do with the new update, pretty much? Because I haven't really covered loads, and I feel like I should get sort of a grips with the things. I've been moving through the series quite slowly because I've been doing everything on camera. So tell me what you think, and rate, comment, and subscribe and uh, check out guys channel, check out twitter and see ya